Uh, this is Michael, and we are at what would normally be the, the Wheels and Waves car show. Right. But today, it's just two cars. It's this Mustang, which you guys know, and then Michael's uh, Mustang back here, which is rather unique. It's kind of fun. <laughs> what, what's your company? Mag Motors. Mag Motors. Yeah. And uh, you guys concentrate on this kind of car. Correct. Well, on rebodies, which... Uh, of classic cars, but yeah. the Mustangs first, Camaro is going to be second. Was this your flagship car? Correct. Okay, yeah. and so this one you got a chance to work out all the kinks? This is mine, the one I have a lot of fun with working <laughs> out kinks. And yes. how's it run out? Uh, it's a beautiful car. I mean, well, it's always run great. Yeah. Uh, because it's a brand new Shelby. Right. There's nothing that Ford, you know, didn't research for 50, 50 years almost yeah. uh, and improved. So this particular car here, the underneath chassis, 2014 Shelby GT500. So it's, it's an S197 chassis. So it just looks like a classic, but pretty much everything's new. Correct. Okay. We basically built a custom carbon fiber body around the classic Shelby GT500 look mm -hmm. with a little bit of modification to kind of show that it's, it's a modern, yeah. it's a modern everyday kind of uh, and, it, and it feels like the modern stuff. Well, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, we're going to take it for a spin, get the feel of it. Uh, you drive first. I'll just kind of watch, you know, and, and hold on tight. Great. And then we'll go up Solstice Cane and have a little fun. Excellent. All right.
But at least I got her on the phone <laughs> I don't think Actually, so. Actually, <laughs> sometimes I do. Yeah, I know. I, I still appreciate it. Yes. Last words, where, where can people find out more about uh, Mag Motors? Magstang.com. M-A-G Stang.com. Mm -hmm. uh, all information on this car and our Instagram. Lots of photos and information on the car. Oh, what's what's your goal? I mean, what what's the plan? Do you want do you want to build a certain amount of cars a year, or what? We we would love to do a nice production of about ten cars a year. Mm -hmm. So limited production. You know, we want these to be unique and stay unique. Yeah. Uh, and but we want for the most. Oh, I just want people to enjoy these. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing driver. driver. I, I, Great I'm driver. Cool that you got to test it out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it again. It's a disaster back here. But something's going on. How's it coming? Well, we ripped it all apart. Ripped what all apart? The thingy. The, the thing, which we can't mention what it is. Okay. But we have Sean here helping out. Knife. <laughs> is that dangerous? Or yeah, that's that's pretty dangerous. Do They're I building something the really, right. really big. It's just enormous. How big is it? Eight and a half feet. Eight and a half feet long? If we measured it correctly. It's really big. At all. I gotta go back up into town. I gotta grab a few things for Kathy. And and, and that's a good thing because uh, Hyundai just dropped off a brand new car, the Hyundai Santa Fe. This is the SUV. So oh, let's go. Okay, big thanks to Hyundai for sending out the Santa Fe. This is the 2018 model. Uh, we've been getting this car pretty much every year for the last four or five years. And the steady upgrades have been uh, really nice. The design evolution has been really great. I'll have this car for about a week. Uh, we'll get into it. But right now, I just gotta drive. I got a whole list of things I gotta get as long as I can read what Kathy wrote. You know, we judge each other way too much in this world. It's almost as if we're trying to hold each other back. We're trying to keep each other down so that we feel better. And a mind that is unconscious um, will rapidly do this kind of thing because it's a kind of automatic pilot. And I was talking to Michael about this today. Big thanks, Michael, by the way, uh, for giving me a chance to drive that amazing car. It's a quite extraordinary machine that you've created. And there's tons. There's hundreds of thousands of people out there that would love a car like that. And I'm gonna help you, buddy, to find those people. But as we were talking, I started thinking, and uh, you know, my, my job 
here on the vlog is to try to help you guys in some way to, to find that that pathway that allows you to do what you love for a living. So many people are out there in fear and uh, have anxiety about the future or about mistakes of the past or that their life is not exactly where they want it to be. But you have to know, you have to believe that you can achieve those things that you, you set your mind to achieve. There's a little secret gem inside of all of us. There's a, a little secret hiding place that exists in everyone. And because we don't recognize that place, uh, a lot of our life is based in fear and anxiety about our future, about how things are going to come together, about what people say about us or think about us. And I will admit myself that sometimes people leave comments right down in the comment section that are not necessarily appropriate. Nobody likes criticism, but you know, if you have a little kid standing next to you and you give them a compliment, they expand. If you hassle them or you, you tell them that they're no good, then they contract. And that little kid is in everyone. We all want to be able to, to feel good about ourselves and what we're trying to accomplish. And an aware person will, will understand that whatever you give out into the world is going to come back to you. So it's important to give out good, good thoughts and good feelings and good vibrations towards people. But it takes an effort. It takes an effort. It takes a conscious awareness. It takes, um, it's, it's actually the most difficult thing that a human being has to do. Now, I want you to think about these guys. I want you to think about this because uh, it means everything. If you set an intention and you want to go a direction, the only reason that you don't get there is you start to pivot. You start to doubt. You start to fear. You start to hanging out with uh, people that aren't necessarily on board with your, your vision. When someone criticizes you, you allow that criticism to dive deep into your psyche and you can start to lose belief in yourself and the things that you want to accomplish. And you can't let that happen. You got to stick to your guns. You got to pull out the power play. And this simply means that you have to stick to a level of awareness that will allow you to achieve the goal that you want. And the only way to do that is to stay conscious and to stay present in this moment. And when you stay present in this moment, you have, you have time to, to worry about the future or have anxiety about the past or worry about anything. You stay present, you stay functioning, you stay pierced like an arrow. But we're all doing our best and you gotta admit that you are doing your best in the, in the area that you're trying to achieve and it doesn't help to have someone come up and criticize you for it. The way that you can ensure that no one will come up and criticize is don't go criticize them. You get what you give people, that's the bottom line. You get what you give and you got to remember that. So if you want love in your life, if you want more money, if you want all things good, then you got to give all things good. And you got to remember to do that. You got to stay present in this moment. You got to work your ass off and you just got to put love into the world. And until you do that, you're not going to get squat. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on the vlog here. This space could be a lot of things. It could be just all about cars and there's lots of car vloggers out there talking about cool cars and horsepower and blah, blah, blah. But my job is to give you more and that's exactly Exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, you gotta